I would just like to mention a very interesting experience we had in Quebec uh, regarding the control of meningococcal disease, uh, which is caused by a bacteria called Neisseria meningitidis. Um, a virulent clone of the bacteria uh, uh, spread in Quebec and we had a prolonged uh, outbreak, uh, mostly in one region, in that specific region which is just north of Quebec City. Uh, the, incidence, the incidence rate of the disease was more than 10 times higher than in the rest of Canada. And it was caused by a serogroup B in Isaria meningitis. And it happens that the, the specific virulent clone was covered by the new Bexero vaccine, which has been developed uh, in, as you know, in uh, Italy, uh, in Siena, which is now with GSK. And uh, the vaccine was just licensed uh, in 2013 and we decided to use for the first time in the world this vaccine to control uh, this outbreak. Uh, the, we decided to vaccinate all the person in that specific region between two months and 20 years of age. And out of about 60,000 people in that age group, uh, 50,000 of them received one or and the majority two doses of that vaccine and then we looked at the results. Uh, previous the use of the vaccine the average number of cases in that region was about nine per year and following the mass vaccination campaign that was um, that was implemented in the second year of the in the second half of the year 2014. Uh, the number of cases went down dramatically, and uh, there was only two cases in the following two years, and none of them in vaccinated individuals. So it was the first time that this vaccine was proved to be effective for the control of outbreaks, and the effectiveness was 100%. And now, after three years, we still have no case in vaccinated individuals, so the, this campaign was highly successful. The question to use the vaccine in a routine program, that's much more complicated. It depends on many different factors, and we know that Italy decided to introduce that vaccine into the routine immunization schedule for children, as it is the case in the UK, as it is the case in Ireland, but in the other countries no decision has been taken yet.